Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I recently got the idea to build a cozy animal rescue in my Sims 2 custom neighborhood and in this video you'll join me throughout the entire process. Aye. We'll start with a quick speed build and decorating session while I create the lot and then we're gonna move in a sim and get everything set up, move in some strays, test out how the gameplay will function, and also try out some new mods and custom content I downloaded to see how they work. There's a timestamp if you want to skip this beginning speed build portion and go straight to the gameplay, so feel free to meet me there if you want. Many Sims 2 players use the changeable Sim Portraits mod by Didi, and it was recently updated to allow you to display pet portraits as well. That is what gave me the original idea. I had an image of all these cute pet portraits up on a wall together in an adoption center. However, I decided I wanted to go with a very homegrown DIY rescue vibe. So instead of building a business lot, I decided that the animal shelter would be inside of an elderly grandmother Sims home. So so I decided to try to build a cute kind of craftsman style house with the shelter area on the first floor and a studio apartment up top. I wanted it to feel like an old house first and foremost, not a place where a bunch of money has been spent to, you know, completely renovate it into an animal shelter. Uh, and I have a pet store already in my town where people can go purchase animals from the pet display case item. So I wanted this lot to feel very different and be more like a peaceful sanctuary for the many strays who have ended up inhabiting my neighborhood. I am so happy to have a new video to share with you guys. It's been a couple months since my last upload. I've been doing a lot of prep work and building to get my town all set up and ready for season three of my Asylum Let's Play story series. I had to build a new town, as many of you know, but uh, I also had to build another new town <laughs> for a very specific reason. Uh, and so of course I had to build like a whole new downloads folder for that part of the project. Uh, and yeah, so I'm too addicted to planning and setting things up, I guess, in this game. <laughs> But I've been filming a lot of machinima scenes and I've already started recording and editing my gameplay, so we are making lots of progress for sure. But I really miss sharing videos with you all and chatting in the comments, so I thought this animal shelter might be a fun way to check back in. I hope that once it's done and all set up and running, we can send some of the teen sims we know in my town to go volunteer and befriend the animals and stuff, and it will hopefully add a nice relaxing new spot in town for them to hang out. So we definitely need a big fenced in yard for the animals to run around in. And in the driveway here, I'm just using some dark dirt terrain paint to make fake indents in the ground from the wheels of a car driving back and forth over the years. I place a car first so I can get the location of the tires right and then delete it. It's just a little <laughs> trick I always like to do. This build is much more simple and less detailed than many of my speed builds tend to be. I tried to make myself take it easy on the decorating so I could focus more on setting up the lot for gameplay, but I do really like how it turned out. I definitely had no plan or vision for what the floor plan would be, however, which is a problem I usually run into because I love to start doing little detailed elements before I even figure out where and how many rooms there will be. So I redid the stair placement a couple of times until I was okay with it. And I put the stairs in this little like closet stairwell with a door so that I can lock the door and keep random people and pets from going up to the apartment. I then decided to basically cut the first floor into thirds and have one big room for all of the animals to hang out in. I put a window here and also a glass door so that you can look into the animal room and see who's in there and make sure they aren't getting up to any shenanigans. The upstairs here is a private apartment area for the shelter owner, and I made it basically a studio with the kitchen, living, and sleeping areas all in the same room. The grandma living above an animal rescue vibe is of course very similar to my cat cafe speed build, one of my videos from long ago. But as I am now in my dark wood and garish 70s colors era, this lot needed to feel a lot different than that one. I never really got to play in that lot because it was just in my test neighborhood and due to unfortunately merging that neighborhood or whatever silly thing I did while haphazardly moving files around my computer, I ended up losing the file final decorated version of my cat cafe. So I'm excited to experience the vibe of that lot in this new animal shelter and experiment more with the gameplay and how I want to set it up. 
I wanted the lot to be very playable and not lag or anything, so I didn't let myself go clutter crazy in here, but I couldn't resist adding a bit of detail to the bathroom, some candles and scattered clothes and stuff. The living room area up here is cozy and quiet, lots of plants and a bookshelf, no stereo or television, mostly because the bed is in the same room. And I don't need to risk someone coming up here and turning the TV on when we're trying to sleep. But I think also whoever is living here is much more focused on plants, nature, animals, and the outdoors, and doesn't seem like the type to be spending all their time in front of a screen. Like, wow, okay, calling myself out. So I also put a hydroponic garden thing up here for her, and I'm using the decorative overlay for it that Pineapple Forest made. And then she's got a nice dinner table up here in case she has any friends over, and she's got her keys hanging over here by the stairs. Then apparently I built and recorded this little section on a different day and left the music on by accident, so there are no clicky sounds here for a few minutes, which is very sad because they're my favorite part. <laughs> but down here in this front room is her office. I wanted it to be very eclectic and cluttered. I mean, this woman is running this op out of her house and it's not gonna be the most streamlined experience. I use this office, all sorts cabinet by Buggy Boos, so she has somewhere to store her files, animal immunization records, and ancient tax returns and the like. And I was sure to give her plenty of animal and nature themed artwork, Max has definitely provided us with plenty of that, luckily. And this build was a fun way to incorporate some of the like weirder pet themed items that come with the game. And I thought it would be really cute to have a little table here as well where she can chat with potential adopters about the process and make sure they're up for the challenge. Put them right here next to the radiator to up the pressure, really make them sweat while they fill out a worksheet listing every common household plant that is toxic to pets. <laughs> and on the table, I put the clipboard from Adele's prop hack because it made me think of adoption paperwork and stuff. And then on this empty bookshelf here, I put a lot of pet supplies that were converted by beautiful Nerd Kitty. I used a bunch of these same items in my original cat cafe build too. There's really cute food bags and cans, shampoos and supplies like that. So I was sure to leave plenty of these around the house and I figured she can sell or give people supplies when they adopt a pet. And then I love, love, love this recolor of Ikea's two tile wall writing by The Mall. It's from an ancient Garden of Shadows theme from like 2009, but I've had this recolor forever and never found the perfect spot for it until now, so I'm really pleased about that. I thought these lovely mountain style lights by Pineapple Forest fit the rustic vibe, so I used them all over the house. And then I'm just changing up the downstairs bathroom a bit. I put a shelf down here and put some dog shampoos on it. I definitely want the bath down here to be just for dogs. I'm envisioning this bathroom as a place where you send wet and muddy dogs who need a bath after playing in the yard. It was fun to use some of the just honestly just so ugly rugs like this one from pets like you know with all due respect because in this build it's perfect and a woman running an animal rescue out of her house is absolutely knee deep in like animal lover memorabilia like paw print rug vibe for sure and so now in this big tiled room i'm setting up the pet hangout area where they have their beds and food bowls and toys so i just put lots of pet objects in here but was sure to leave lots of room around different items because sometimes the pet routing can be a bit finicky and i needed lots of room for scolding and praising and all sorts of things and the recolors for this maxis pet food bowl are just so iconic like one of the strongest items in the entire game just a low-key humble icon so then in the front entrance here i'm going to make my wall of animal photos showing all the pets who are up for adoption i left it for last like the grand finale for myself i guess since it was the idea that originally inspired this lot and i'm excited i feel like it's going to look so cute once their portraits are up on the wall I put some counters in here too and thought it could be the lobby basically. There's a couch so you can be comfortable while you wait for your adoption appointment and yeah, you can like look through the window into the pet room and then the lady who runs the place calls you into the office through the archway and you sit at the table and fill out your forms and stuff. And so I decided to put a little coffee and tea station here for people to use and just some random office supplies and clutter. 
And yeah, you might notice that I used a no cutaway wall for the animal portrait wall here because I just never want that wall to minimize. I want to always see their smiling faces. So yeah, this wall and the back wall are no cutaway walls and I'm so happy that I started using them so much since um, doing the Barbie dream house build because now I just can't live without them. I love how it makes this room feel so much more real and impactful because you can see all the decor and stuff. Like two normal walls and two no cutaway walls is my favorite vibe right now. It makes the room it's like a little shadow box and I think it's so charming. I love it. Under these cute cat drawings, I put the little museum label recolor I made and maybe a local artist drew these and they're for sale here in the lobby as a fundraiser or something. And luckily I checked the pets like collection because I completely forgot that this leash object existed, but we obviously needed some of these by the door. This house needed a big minivan for sure fit all them dogs in and this little dog house fits perfectly in this nook here so i was really glad about that and i made sure the yard was kind of patchy and muddy there are dogs running around out here all day tearing up the turf so we don't want it to look super pretty out here and yeah i didn't really put much out here so that there's lots of room to run around But yeah, here is our adorable little home run rescue and it is ready for us to fill it with strays looking for their forever home. So let's just jump into the game and get this lot set up. All right, so I have this lady here, Mavis Pesce, who I'm going to have purchased a lot. So she has, you know, not nearly enough, <laughs> not quite enough money. I'm going to family funds like 85 grand so that she's got enough and then I'll move her in. All right. Oh, okay. Her perfect. Oh yeah, wait, I did that. I'm like her one true hobby is nature. I made that her one true hobby. Got to get her what every sim needs, the sim blender, freezer clock, weather controller, visitor controller, and the sim manipulator and the cat teleporter and these you know it's quite a lot of things i guess but i've i'm at the point now where i really can't i really can't make it without them at least ready to go just in case this actually works in this in this house like as a cute little like i don't know yard decoration corner cat <laughs> So let me think really quick before I start getting the animals over here. Oh, oh yeah. I was like, she knows Solange. Yeah, so my whole thing is I'm not letting my, I'm trying to not. <laughs> hey, Miss sweetie. I'm really trying to not make new Sims unless I just absolutely need to. Like they have to look really specific, you know? So Miss Mavis here actually was living in Three Lakes. She was a vacation local that I just made and then I made her a vacation local with with the cat teleporter I think that's why I originally think I actually downloaded the cat teleporter wow she's just loving nature because it has like all of the different categories of people you can make whereas you know um, the townie gun can make them a townie or a downtowny. with the cat teleporter you can do the different social classes you can do like wait what make me a goopy I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I don't know what everything does. But I moved her to the main hood because I was like, well, she's kind of one of the only elderly ladies I got. And now she gets to, uh -huh. So now she gets to live here in Morbury Bay and run the animal shelter. And she already knows Solange because of when Solange lived in Three Lakes. But we are just going to pretend that she has always lived here. All right, she is chatting with a high school age boy. Doesn't need to do that. Maybe he, you know, he actually does have a pet cat. So maybe she's just giving him some pet advice. First things first, most importantly, I would like to give her a different outfit because I don't feel like she's necessarily matching this very kooky house. Although I did already, um, I already gave her makeup and new glasses and stuff. So everything happening on the face, on the head, we love. But let's get her a little bit more of like a cozy, artsy, crazy grandma vibe. 
which I would definitely love for that to be like my vibe when I'm older. <laughs> oh my lord, come on, Gussie Up, you can do it. All right, here we go. So we definitely have tons of amazing, adorable options by Goats Kicking, who is like the patron saint of making amazing elder clothes. Oh my god, ah, ooh, I really love these jackets. It's fun because like I can't resist downloading. <laughs> goats elders stuff but like I really barely have any elders that I actually play with so I never get to see anyone wearing it but like these are freaking awesome okay I think I definitely like this outfit cute and that sweater is really cute different skirt and sweater outfit cute Okay, love it. That's her outerwear. So she loves a big cozy skirt. Um, and then let's see, let me check. Let's, I'd like to give her maybe an animal themed lifetime aspiration. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna be like playing her really or anything, but you know. For the storytelling, for the, for the theme. Raise X puppies or kittens, that's really cute. All right, I'm gonna try the puppies and kitten one. She wants to raise 20 puppies or kittens, so. Good freaking luck, baby. And then really quick, just to top it off, I'm gonna go find like animal lover. So I will add missing traits to her. Unlucky, vehicle enthusiast, great kisser, equestrian, daredevil. <laughs> um, she doesn't strike me as a vehicle enthusiast. I'm gonna replace it with, animal lover and doesn't particularly strike me as a daredevil. I'm gonna give her one more trait to replace it and see what it is. Social butterfly. Yeah, all right. Well, we gotta find someone for her to kiss then because otherwise her talent is going to waste. And now I need to start getting some of these copious amounts of like stray animals that I have. I really don't know why or how somehow like all the dogs in the neighborhood became under the Joubert family in any sort of summoning menu. I don't know why. Like, look at all these freaking dogs. Like, why? <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get some of them out of this family and where it makes sense. Daisy. Oh, I remember you, Daisy. Like, Andy. Why the heck is Andy part of our family and not part of groceries family? That's not like actually the real Andy. No, it's not. Two Bennies. Oh, hi. Okay, we got some kitty cats. But are you an identical Benny? Okay, no, your name's also Benny, but you're a little, a teeny tiny little Sheba. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Damn, that's already nine. We can't handle that. But then it's like, how am I supposed to pick who to say goodbye to? I can't. I'm on, I really only <laughs> had room for five pictures. For now, we'll do six because that's the amount of bowls I put out. And then once we get some of these guys adopted out, then I will keep bringing in new strays so we can find them homes. And then I'm going to move in forest. Move in Benny, move in Andy, move in Mips, move in Daisy, and move in Miley. Woo! <laughs> and they're all so confused, but hopefully excited. It would definitely be smart. I saw it, but I thought maybe it would be too easy. <laughs> they have an autofill bowl from, I believe it's a pet stories conversion, which speaking of which, I really wanna try the agility items converted from pet stories. I got um, the backyard versions of them. There's two sets, backyard and professional, but backyard was just kind of my, more my vibe. But I thought it could be fun to try out some of these. I never have used them before. I saw them in um, Annie, tried them out, Annie Bats, in one of her, I believe, Pleasant View playthroughs that I was watching and I was like, dang, that seems really fun. I had been gonna make it a home business maybe or make it a business, but then what had concerned me was if it was a home business, I felt like, I don't know, I had never tried like, you know, selling pets to people and then leaving with them. And I just was like, it might give me more control the way that I want to just 
have it be residential and she lives here and then excuse me who's being evil absolutely not also you can't be andy we need to rename you we already have an andy my darling you could go by andrew <laughs> your full name oh my god <laughs> this is gonna be crazy she's just gonna be praising and scolding all day but let's see but so oh good some visitors have arrived that's awesome. It could be fun with people who are walk-bys to be like, oh, maybe they're coming by because they're interested in getting a pet. Whoa. And, or people who, you know, are much more, oh God, stop it. No freaking way. Things are going not great at my, at my backyard uncredited. Ah, animal shelter. Ma'am, where's your 501c3 paperwork? This is so freaking sad. I've literally like never even seen them do this. Aww. No, I'm sorry. Give her, give Daisy affection, cause Mips is freaking evil. Yeah, that's good. Tire him out a little bit, please. Oh my God, of course, how could I forget? This was my whole idea originally, or the whole thing that inspired me to even do this build. The changeable Sim portraits by Didi, and then Treehawk updated them to include pet portraits, and that was what I was really excited for. I thought it would be so cute to have all the different pets have a little picture of them. Oh yeah, I needed to add another one. Adopt me! And then once they get adopted, we'll move their picture over here, and maybe, you know, throughout time we'll expand over here, and we'll have pictures of all of the animals that once lived here and were adopted out. We could take pictures of them with their new family or something um, with the camera and then hang them up. So I think that would be a really cute detail. So let me just put another one of these and then Miley, darling. So now, yeah, when people come in while they're waiting for their, you know, adoption appointment to go in here and play with everyone and meet everyone, they can see them, read a little about them. I thought it would be kind of cute um, like these are the recolors of the hand washing sign I made for my art museum and I was like, oh, I should make some that kind of look like they say like, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. I like to da, 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 da. You know, like how they have those at shelters and rescue places and stuff. So for people who play more kind of rotationally in a very organized way where like you take notes and stuff, I just thought if I was playing a family and the kid or one of the family members rolled a want to adopt, get a pet, get a dog or a cat, or you know, if we had puppies or kittens here, um, then that would be my sign when I play Mavis to have her invite them over and then they can meet the different animals and depending on who they seem to get along with the best, then she can sell that pet to them. And yeah, I mean, sell, you know, it's not <laughs> it's not the ideal word, I guess, in terms of like a shelter. Oh, whoops. And then, yeah, it could also be fun too for teens or kids in the neighborhood even, like, but teens, like, you know, someone like Serena from my Asylum series, she loves animals. So she could come over here after school, she could clean and do stuff. I could invite her over and then Mavis could, um, <laughs> no, you're not allowed to know about that place. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, they don't understand sometimes that there are certain neighborhoods they're not even supposed to know about eat your mac and cheese and go to bed. And so now to just try out the adoption kind of process and see how it works for how I'm envisioning, I'm going to go figure out who is a family in my neighborhood, just a random family. There's gotta be someone who wants a dog or a cat. And then I'll try out inviting them over and seeing how that goes. Oh my God, Mips, enough fighting. Not on my watch. Yeah, maybe, you know, depending on what happens as we play these couple kind of days, setting up and figuring things out, because I got a couple different kinds of mods that have to do with pets. Nothing too crazy, but I haven't seen all the mods in action yet, but I got Cats Can Hunt Roaches. It's autonomous, so if we get some roaches, maybe leave some trash out and let's see if we get some roaches and see if the cats will hunt them. I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, I think it raises their fun and maybe hunger and depletes their hygiene. Something interesting I got too that, I mean, I don't even know if I'll ever <laughs> see it in action without really trying to make it happen is um, the random runaway pet pregnancy by Midge the Tree. So if your pet runs away, 
there and they're a female pet, um, there is a chance that they will come back pregnant by a stray in your neighborhood. I thought that seemed like a cool add-on mod if you have an animal shelter like this because if someone's pet comes home with a few unexpected uh, passengers, <laughs> then they could give the puppies or kittens to Mavis and she could find them a new home. So let's go figure out who someone in the neighborhood who wants a pet is and see if we can find the perfect furry friend for them here. So loading the Naring family to see if hopefully one of these kids wants a pet because they don't have any pets, but dang, they got a lot of kids. <laughs> oh, hey, look, get a kitten, get a kitten or a puppy. Well, <laughs> we don't have any kittens or puppies at the shelter, sir. Oh my God, this house is a freaking mess. He likes animals. She really likes animals. He loves animals. But you know what? Your dad wants a puppy or a kitten. I think that's fine. That's good enough. We can figure it out. <laughs> so maybe I'll invite Shiro and Titus over. Aw, cute. Mavis with <laughs> all her friends, her big gang. Okay, so I'm going to set the day to be Sunday because I don't want the kid that we're inviting over to like be at school all day and stuff. And then I'll just wait until the morning. Aw, well Daisy hates Mips because Mips freaking jumped her. Okay, oh my God, well, oh my God, of course we don't have any puppies. Boy cat, boy cat, girl cat, girl dog. Oh my God, Mips is a girl? Are y'all kidding me? Okay, oh, run away. <gasps> oh, they're girls, we could try having one of them run away and see if they get pregnant. We should try it. Um, as I do believe as part of the runaway pregnancy wa wad mod, um, you can command the sim to run away because otherwise it's like, it would probably be a lot harder to exper <laughs> experience the mod. I mean, I think what your pet runs away if they get really unhappy. I don't think it's ever happened to me because I'm too sad if the pet is not happy. <laughs> so we should definitely try that. And I mean, Mips, you know, I don't want to be mean because you're so wonderful, except that you're mean and you were fighting. But maybe because you're fighting, you're feeling really upset. Whoa, you got to just get out of here. I don't know how to make him come back though. You can use the phone to report Mips. What? Mips, you have so many spaces after your name. <laughs> Why? Okay, we definitely need to report her missing. Mips. Who put 10 spaces after your name? Was that me? Dang, there's a lot of pee. Ooh, and yeah, once one of them gets dirty, we have to try out the bathtub from Jackie93Sims. I'm really excited because there are other like dog only bathtubs I found, but they're very much like wooden tubs. And I wanted something that looked a little more like indoor, but I didn't want to use the regular bathtub because otherwise she's going to be bathing in the freaking dog bathtub and like, let's not. We found her, she's pregnant. <laughs> we'll give a call if we find Mips. Okay, I'm gonna have, oh, I can't tell you to mess with the trash. I was like, I wanna tell her to like dig in the trash and knock it over so we can try to get some roaches. It's so cozy and peaceful with the rain and everything. I love it. Mips, won't you come home? So I think there's two, at least two stray male dogs that Mips maybe would get impregnated with or by rather. Oh my god. Not at my actual house. It is crazy how like the way Sims 2 works that basically every time it rains, your house just catches on fire for a few minutes. If that was how it actually was in real life, it would be so stressful. I'm sorry I told you to run away, Mips. I'm sorry that I intended to have puppies and kittens and then I moved in only, <laughs> only boy cats and only girl dogs. So let's invite, I don't know if he'll come over. Like, actually, I don't even know if she knows him. I think I need to, I need to teleport him first. Long term 20. So say goodbye. No, haha, <laughs> caught you. I got you. I'm gonna teach you to not pee on the floor. 
Oh yeah, we gotta get a teen over here to <laughs> clean this stuff. I'm not sure if I had downloaded it yet. If not, then I'm gonna quit and download it. But Pick and Mix Mods has a mod called Tip Everyone, so that you can, well, uh, yeah, tip everyone. But the kind of cool thing about it is that it won't show up unless you have a Sim Turner or Thought Bubble controller. Uh, two different kinds of mod objects on your lot so that way it won't just clutter up the pie menu all the time you can place it on the lot if there is a specific sim that you know you want to tip um, so I think that would be a pretty useful way to pay the teenage workers that she that she might have come help out so I had not of course just like I thought downloaded it yet so I am going to reload the lot quickly put it in my folder all right, I downloaded the tipping mod and reloaded my game. I put it in and I also just realized she should not put this trash away. She should actually dump it on the ground. And then I'm just gonna like fence it off over here so that we can get some roaches and I'm gonna put a fence around it so that no sneaky cleanly anybody tries to get rid of my beautiful garbage. Let's invite Titus and his family over so they can come get to know some of the pets. Nice. So all of the animals are actually in their room right now. So I'm just gonna keep them in here for a bit so that, I don't know, I think it just will have a cute, you know, a nicer vibe if when the family comes, all the pets are like in the same room. Although I guess usually they don't have cats and dogs free roaming together. You better freaking come over. I know you want a kitten. We don't have any. And bring Shiro. Also, I realized that Mips nor any of the animals have collars. And so I really hope that she comes back because uh, apparently they might not. So yeah. Okay. Don't do all that. See, and you can see, because I have a Sim Turner on the lot right here, well, you can't tip children, you can tip teens and up. So I can tip him. Anyone can come help themselves to some nice veggies and hummus, which really also fits the vibe of this place. I think it's definitely the kind of snack she would serve. These are awesome. I will link this as well. It's Epi Sims default replacement for the party platters that come with free time. Let's go. And I'm going to make them selectable because I don't want them to leave. Like, I mean, also so I can make them do stuff, but like, especially because when Sims aren't selectable, you never know when they're just going to be like, bye, I gotta go. And then you can't click on them and you're like, no, I just freaking invited you over here. Aww. So, oh, okay, it seems like he does want to get a cat specifically because dog dropped out or puppy dropped out and he wants a kitten. So, you know, every cat is forever a little kitten to their owner. So, so it seems like he likes Benny so far. Shiro is <laughs> seeing Miley over here. Where are you going? Oh my God. Smell in the flowers. You better stop it. Oh, okay. Looking good while well, looking where he's- don't go around the corner. He's like, um, uh, ma'am. That is my compost heap and it's actually really none of your business. This is the Andy from the display case at the pet store and that was what gave me the idea to name groceries cat Andy. And I didn't realize that it would just be a different cat named Andy. <laughs> it seems like him and Shiro maybe both like Andy because they're giving him some love. <laughs> Honestly, just such a relatable vibe. Just like being a kid, eating like a carrot stick in a healthy older artsy lady's house and you're like there for whatever reason. You're like, hmm. <laughs> Aw, are they gonna play fetch? Whee! Oh my god, I love to always ruin my own shot. Well, let's see. He has a closer relationship with Benny. They're tied because they have a bunch of kids. So we should also 
prioritize who has like the friendlier yeah aggressive bunny i'm sorry sweetie but you're out of the running i mean finicky will be annoying because then it's like they always want their bowl to be like super clean and stuff but he won't be hopefully getting into mess and garbage and stuff all the time so i think that they will go with andy andy number two or really or andy number one original andy Oh, now he wants to adopt a baby. Going for bigger and bigger thrills. I'm going to sell you Andy. Are you sure you want to sell Andy? Yes. He will accept it because I got a mod by Squinge called Always Accept Pet. Because otherwise it would be based like on their relationship, I'm assuming, on her and Titus's relationship. And they don't have one. And I want to be able to give a pet to anyone that I want. Yay! Congratulations, Andy. You are going to... Oh, wake up. <laughs> Surprise! Uh, are you kidding me? Yeah, Wait, he doesn't have any money? <laughs> I was like, he will accept it. All right, I don't know. All right, I had to invite them back over, reload the lot and everything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now let's see if he will accept our friend Andy. Yes. And I really, Mips, I really hope you come back. Oh, hey, he did it. Okay, yeah, yay, amazing. He just didn't have money last time. Yay. It's just decoration. They don't, they don't do anything, but I thought it would be cute if with your adoption fee, you get a bag of food. Let's see, grown up food for your pet as well. So I wonder if he would hopefully accept it as a gift. Here you go. Oh, well, thanks for free fricking supplies. You're welcome. What a successful first adoption. I'm just gonna make them unselectable and say goodbye to everyone. Aw, oh wait, dang it, no. Don't say goodbye, come back. I forgot, I wanted to get, oh my God. Lord, well, I'll take a picture of them at their house. I was like, I wanna get a picture of them, like an adoption picture, and I freaking forgot. Andy, would you look at that? You get to switch spots with this one. And now Andy is on the I got adopted wall. So, I really hope Mips comes back. Something that could be good if we went and visited the Narings and got an adoption photo of them because I saw online that if your pet isn't coming back, if you go to another playable house, the runaway might might be a walk by and then you can call the owner and tell them that you found their pet. Any roaches yet? We will just go to tomorrow. We will hope that Mips comes back. We will get, hopefully get some roaches and see if the cats are interested in them and maybe have a teen come over and help out and try tipping them and seeing how that works. Buffy! Aha! Aha! All right, Forrest, you wanna help me out? He'll love it. All right, let's see about these roaches. You wanna check it out? Cause yeah, I don't think you can, oh, you can direct them to it. I thought it was just, they could only do it on their own. <laughs> Ugh, that is nice and disgusting. <laughs> Ah, yeah, so his fun is going up and his hygiene is going way down. But yeah, so I had said maybe it rates his hunger. It looks like it doesn't. Oh, that's, oh my God. I love that, that they can kill them. And that like wasn't that hard. Awesome, because normally, God, even spraying them, it's like they don't even die. And then you just get the flu. <laughs> so I love that. That's super cool. Let me get a teen over here. She did chat with Jasper a little bit. He is a teen in the neighborhood. Oh, well, zero, zero. I'm just gonna try bringing him over and making him selectable. And I wanna try out just having him do some chores and then seeing if she can tip him. No, don't mop that. That's for him to do. <laughs> Hello, young man. I'm just a fragile old woman. Can you mop this pee? She's telling him her last name. It means fish in Italian, I think. I can just have him macro clean and let's see if that works. And then she's like, oh, amazing. He's taking care of the animals. Oh, well, because he's cleaning, 
we can maybe finally successfully train one of them on the agility stuff because I keep like being distracted by them peeing and not being able to not being able to do it. Oh no! What did I say? Distracted by them peeing. Scold for peeing on the floor. Then give her a treat. I'm sorry. <gasps> Aww. I'm sorry, Miley. Can I give you a treat? Aww. What if I wrestle with you? I didn't mean to, you know, hurt your feelings right when I first got to know you, but it's just that you peed on the floor. Ooh, she is really stinky. I didn't even notice yet. We could wash her in the tub. You can do it. <laughs> Aw, that's really cute. She hates it. All right, wash Daisy. She's super gross. Honestly, Jasper should be doing that. Super cute. It's fun that it comes with some clutter on it. You don't even have to clutter up the mesh. But yeah, Mips, God. Dang, girl, I don't know if she's ever going to come home. I really think I might have to low, I might have to see, take an adoption photo of Titus, Shiro, and Andy over at their place and hope that Mips walks by. Because otherwise, if I, like, lose her forever because I didn't put a collar on her before telling her to run away, I'll be really sad. I'll be like, I'm sorry, sweetie. I was just sending you away so you would get pregnant. Usually the opposite of why an older, old-fashioned woman might send her girl away. And he is hungry. So she can come up here and get some leftovers and he can have some hummus because um, I had her put the platter away. Hurry! The lad's hungry. God, this is like so freaking wholesome. I cannot... <laughs> I'm like, when is someone going to get struck by lightning or something? Oh. <laughs> they are having quite an interesting conversation to be there first. So now she can tip him a hundo bucks. You know what? It doesn't go that far in this world. Let me tell you that. And he cleaned some pee. He filled quite a lot of stuff. Really? Wow, you're the best, Mavis. Yeah, I freaking know, baby. Make unselectable, Jasper. Thank you for helping, lad. You are... A fine young gentleman. I really freaking hope my dog comes back. So yeah, let me load the Naring household because Mips, I've sent you off in this world and I didn't know. I did it quickly without thinking, which is how I like to do lots of stuff. And it doesn't work out that good for me. All right, so I have loaded up the Naring's tragically unfurnished house. Oh, and look, Andy's out here on the front lawn as the newest member of the household. So I want to just get a nice quick little pic of him with Shiro and maybe Parker, the toddler. You know, not enough room in the photo for everyone. There's too many people in this family. Um, and then while we're here, I'm really hoping that Mitz walks by because otherwise I just don't know what we're going to do. All right, so I had the toddler Parker cuddle with Andy. Don't worry, he, he's loving it. <laughs> Um, they are both sitting on OMSPs. I just shifted them up to the couch and I also froze them with the freezer clock because otherwise there's no way I could ever get a nice shot. All right, so I have Shiro in the smile pose box from Endane. And then I'm just trying to find a good angle for him to be looking. And because these two are frozen, you can't select them to look at on the sim turner. So because of that, I'm just having him look at the sim turner and then I will remove it before I take the photo. But I want him to look happy and smile, of course. I gotta move, ideally, Shiro's left arm a little bit. So maybe, hopefully, with Didi's arm overlay pose box. Let's see. Perfect. Got it out of the way. Love to see it. Adorable. And now I will move the Sim Turner. <laughs> the other cats are gonna see this and be like, "Woo, Andy, I'm not jealous of you no more, bro. See, unfreeze, unfreeze. And then I gotta take you off of your OMSPs. Oh, oh, oh my f no, my, I hate my life. <laughs> oh, what kind of Ooh, okay. Whew. 
I'm learning my lesson this time. I'm not gonna immediately <laughs> take them out of their freaking poses before I know whether it's a good picture or not. Oh, that's the one that turned out weird. I'm like, I like it more because it's freaking brighter. <laughs> order a print. And I wanna order two because I want to give Mavis one of them to hang up on the wall. Cute. The photos are way too dark though. I'm gonna put that one in his inventory to give her. <laughs> I wonder if it's cause like they live across town from her. I wonder if I went to Solange's house if Mips would show up. Doesn't seem like Mix wants to walk by any of the neighbor's houses, um, but I'm gonna try going to Mavis's house. At least we can hang up the cute picture of Shiro and Andy. And let's see, let's just hope that Mips decides that she wants to come back and be part of our beautiful family again. I gotta wait by the phone. Said that you will get a call. <laughs> In the future, I would certainly recommend if you're gonna use this mod to try to get your pet to come back pregnant, put a collar on them, unless you want to kind of be white knuckling with fear that your pet might never come home. Oh, please don't be a random whoever. Don't be a random. Oh, yay, Mips. Yes, oh my God, it's the principal of the high school. <laughs> she would be looking out for the community. Yay, okay, so I think when I came here, it was like Sunday night and I just speed three. I sped three through two days, I think. And then we got the call for MIPS. So I guess I didn't need to spend all that time <laughs> waiting on other people's lots. I wonder if she'll be pregnant. If not, you know what, MIPS, <laughs> that's okay. Yay, aww. Take better care of Mips. Damn, chill. I'm so sorry, Mips. Next time I tell you to run away, I will have you wear a collar. <laughs> she wants to be friends with Titus and we also need to get the picture from him. So I'm gonna invite him over really quick. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, you hate it. Okay, you hate the seesaw, I know. Here he is. Chat with him. And I need to make him selectable so he can give her the cute picture. Close to me, friends. Yay! Eh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Well, Andy. Look who gets a picture of his new family up on the wall. Probably would be nice to like put it on a surface. Ugh, but then it's so dark. Awesome. <laughs> and now one day you two can be as happy as Andy. No fair, you should be able to look at it and appreciate it. Well, that's super cute. We got a nice little picture of Andy now. Who is being mean? How you doing, Mips? No. Mips, no. <laughs> Forrest is like, hey, stop that. He's on no peeing duty. Look, I know not everyone's smart enough to pee in a box like you. Oh, you know what? I just checked and it said the total number of cats and dogs cannot exceed six on your lot. Maybe because if she was pregnant, then we would exceed that number. Maybe that's why she didn't get pregnant, but at least she came back from running away. I might have to wait until next time kind of playing this house to see who else can get adopted so we have more room to try to see if some puppies come. Oh, sorry, Mibs. Cause yeah, it doesn't seem like that she got pregnant from her runaway adventure. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, why? What the freaking heck? Why did you die? Are you old? Oh no, Forrest, what the f- What is happening? Oh my God. Not me saying we need more room for pets and the Grim Reaper instantly came and Forrest passed away. What happened? He must have been old age. Aww, sorry. <laughs> oh my God, that was so surprising. Okay, I guess, yeah, I should have kept an eye on everyone's lifespan. I have a nice spot for him. 
<laughs> up on the coffee table up here. Poor thing. We hardly got to know him, but at least he got to have, you know, a nice cozy home for a bit before. She'll put it up in her room. But dang, you guys, I didn't want to end on such a sad note, but you know. <laughs> Sadly, this just... The, these things, they do happen. And yeah, I mean, the odds for Midge's mod are only 15%, so yeah. it makes sense oh. that Mips might not have come back pregnant right away, so <laughs> maybe we'll try out to see if that can happen Whoa. next time we play with them. And I'm definitely excited to have Serena come here and any other teens who love animals and volunteer and get to know the pets. But I hope that you guys had fun hanging out with me while I decorated and set up the little animal shelter lot. It seems like the animals are getting along a lot better now. Some of them are hopefully learning to be a little nicer. Oh no, Mavis, your garden. Sorry. <laughs> well, what better note to end on? What you doing, Mr. Skunk? Well, little puddle of pee on the floor. But Mips and Mavis are getting along, making up for lost time and enjoying getting to know each other a little bit more. Ah, oh, and here comes Solange and Sweet Pea. Maybe Mavis can come greet them. Whoa, whoa, get to know them. Mm. And I'm sure they will get to know each other a little better as they are neighbors. Oh, well, Solange's going right on in. Hey, I gotta use your bathroom. <laughs> But I'm really excited to upload more videos for you guys soon. I'm having a lot of fun trying to get back in the swing of things and move more from the preparation and setup phase into the gameplay phase and sharing everything that I've been working on. So thank you so much for all your support and sticking around with me. I super appreciate it. And let me know what you think of this video. I hope it was enjoyable or maybe gave you some fun ideas of how you could set up some kind of animal shelter in your town. If you have any tips for me of things that you like to do with this kind of lot, uh, please let me know. And we can all learn a little bit more about fun ways to play the game. So I hope you are doing super well. Thank you for joining me and I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.